Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to teach you Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. Classic, uh, you know, classic, classic tune. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, also, I appreciate you supporting Marty Music. Uh, you can sign the newsletter for some free courses. If you like, no pressure. Uh, anyway, let's break this one down. All right, so I taught this a long time ago. I've thought about how to teach this the easiest way for you guys to learn. And so first, we're going to talk about the capos on the seventh fret. And to start off, we're going to need a D major chord. And then we're going to need a G chord, but I like playing the G chord with just the middle finger on the third fret of the low E. It's muting the A string, and I'm strumming it all the way to the B string. Because you're going to need your ring finger and index finger for that stuff. So you're going to have a D chord. Then the G, and then an A7. So that middle finger is going to go over to that second fret of the D, ring finger on the second fret of the B. The next thing is with the D chord, there's going to be times with the middle finger off and on. Get used to that G. And then with the G, you're going to be adding your ring finger to the third fret of the B string. It's right there. And then there's also going to be times where your index is going to be on the second, you know, while you're holding that G. So it'd be all within that, you know, within there. So the other thing, and this is, I think, the easiest way to learn the song is to start with a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Because that's actually really what's going on, but from there, there's just little kind of target notes of the melody that you kind of kind of emphasize. But I would say start with this down, up, down, up. So the D chord. Like that. So next... We've got the pulse, and we go. So think of that melody. You got the down, up, down, ups. Now with the G chord, and there's more to there's more to emphasize there. Don't worry, that's not it yet, but we're we're building up towards it. You can do that, and then you add your ring finger to the third fret of the B, and then you emphasize that high E. So. From the top. See that? I'm already starting to emphasize the proper melody notes, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. See that? So then we have to go, so it's like an open into the A7, ring finger off, back on. You're, this is going to happen later in the song too. Pinky to the third of the B, and off. So from the top. So 
that time I really emphasize I did not change that down, up, down, up. Check it out again. There's more to come. And then it does that again. You get to that, and this time we're gonna hit the second fret of the high E. It's the strum, then, and then off, where we hear it. So two O within that G strum. Then ring finger on the third of the B. Transitioning to that A7. have to change that down up once. It went right through the pattern. And then right there. So now that's already sounding pretty close. Really what we want to just start to do is kind of pick out the proper melody notes. You know? Back to that open D. So... Right? start to, you got that down up going and you just start, you got to target the high E for the, and then that B. You know, within the strumming. So, the, the intro. You know. Then the vocals come in, which is how you would play the chorus, too, when he says... There's less stuff. It's not dee doo da dee da. It's dee da da da. Think of the lyric. Here comes the sun. So we got the D chord. Open B string. So then, then it's the dee doo da dee, which is that high E to B. Then the open. 
but within the the the, the chord. When the sings the chorus here, it, uh, after this intro, it's not the down up down up down up. There's just less. Then we go to that G and we go like that. And now a new chord, E7, second fret A, first fret G, and I'm using pinky on third of the B. And I say, so it's all right is the D, then off, and then hit that B. It's all right. All right, so from the top. Now the vocals. See that? It's just a little less. Now the G. Dun, 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 dun. And then it's all right. So check it out again. Vocals. All right, the next section. Not as hard as it seems, but not beginner. I'm going to slide from 2nd fret to 4th fret on the G string. And it sets my hand up to do this part all in one position. So I slide that up to the 1, 2, 3, 4th fret from 2, and then 3rd on the B, open high E. And then you're just going to go with the right hand through that same pattern. Ring finger comes off, index goes to second fret. So. Index comes off, same pattern on the right hand. So, you know, that G, B, E, then the index comes back on the second. So. Isn't that pretty? So then I'm going three with my middle pulling off to two, open, and then index finger on that second fret of the G, which is where it needs to be for that D chord. After it does it that first time, it goes right, there's no little uh, interlude, it goes right into a verse. And the verse is just like the very beginning of the intro. So we've already uh, laid a lot of the groundwork for the song. So, you know. You know, that's all. Just like the intro, now, just like when the vocals first come in, but with a little more pizzazz.
So then the next time, after, you know, when it goes through it again. Just does that little inter interlude into another verse. part it's not as hard as it seems either but it's not a beginner it's not a beginner part uh, open a string and then I'm using my ring finger on one two three four Called very weird thing so o4 index on the two of the D then a weird finger change to the ring finger on the third because then we're going into just a classic picking through some chords and it's just this little F triad three two one then the C chord got F to C, then ring comes off, middle goes up to second of the A, so. Then you grab that third, and it's just that E, e A, D chord. So let's uh let's just go through the song up to that point. Vocals come in. vocals now. Here comes the sun. vocals. 
a bunch of times. So out of the last one, it goes to the A7 and it's a little build up. Right into it again. So A7 off on three, pinky off on high E, then you get that third fret of the high E. Um, and then that you don't have to learn any new parts. You just have to put a couple things together. You know, it does the uh, uh, you know, it repeats that. And then the one thing to look out for is from there. So it goes, does the lick without skipping a, a beat, ring finger on that third. And then you've got the whole song right there for you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Also, thank you again for supporting Marty Music, signing the newsletter subscribing here, leaving comments, sharing the videos. Also, you can leave your requests in the comments below. And uh, thank you again, and I uh, hope to see you later. Yeah.